Hey everybody, it's the Chris and Des Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And right now we're going to talk to you about a new musical, world premiere musical called Soft Power, playing at the Amundsen Theater in Los Angeles, uh, now through June 10th. Des, what'd you think? Okay, so I had high hopes for this going in because of the uh, writer and of the book and the music. Uh, Henry David Wong, I see, I see, I don't remember what I saw of his that was, that made me think, oh, this guy's great. There was something he did a long time ago that was Flower, really successful. Drum song, there you and go. And Butterfly. Well, he opened and Butterfly on Broadway, but didn't last very long. Yeah. So I don't know what was going on with that. But I still, I recognized his name and I knew he was good. And then the music is Janine Tesori, who, is that, am I saying her name right? I'm saying, I think so. Okay. But she's great. She did um, Fun Home. Fun Home and uh, uh, Thoroughly Modern Millie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's an amazing writer. So going in, and I'm all hyped up for this going to be a great show. And it just turned political. And so it became about all this stuff that I didn't really enjoy. And so then the story also felt a little like they were trying to make a statement, which I'm fine if that's okay, but the story didn't really feel like it uh, supported everything that they were doing. So I don't know. I, I really wouldn't recommend it. I didn't enjoy it very much at all. So uh, what do you think? Yeah, um, that's the thing. I don't, I don't mind political stuff, but... Uh -huh. I just didn't know what was going on, and that's the issue. So <laughs> yeah. I think there's a point where Des was like, "What is this?" I'm like, "Oh, I don't know." <laughs> uh, What's happening? It's like, Why is it now happening? Now we're in a McDonald's and we're doing a musical number with Hillary Clinton. I don't really know yeah, why what? exactly. Yeah. And I get it. It's like consumerism, America. We care more about that. Yeah. And there's a whole scene in the White House and stuff too. But. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. No, it's like it yeah. was like it would have been a, maybe a funny SNL skit, not right. a whole not a two whole, and a half hour. Yeah, musical. that's a good point. That's that's not good. Yeah. But I, w I do want to say, um, the lead guy who is Conrad R Rickamora, and he is on How to Get Away with Murder, but he has a beautiful singing voice. Yeah, he was, he was really good, singer. and he was really good in this part. Yeah, really good. Um, and so I don't want to take away anything from him. It's just it shouldn't go to Broadway because. It's I think not so. in the right shape. It needs. It needs to, something it needs, else. Need, I don't know what it needs. It needs to be edited and streamlined and. Yeah. Yeah. I don't anyway, know. that's. I wouldn't really recommend it either, unless you really love musicals about Hillary Clinton singing at McDonald's and. <laughs> uh yeah. Uh, sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. Bye. Bye.